Alright, first off, gotta say Happy New Year. It's 1.26 in the AM, which means that it is officially 2009. Um, alright, this uh, is my C++ exercise number 5. Uh, basically, this is another math problem, and I know that on New Year's Eve, the first thing you want to do for your resolution is some math, right? So this is the distance formula. I'm just trying to help out. Alright, I wrote the distance formula out in case uh, you don't know it. Um, basically, we're going to be solving for this. Distance equals the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. We're taking the square root of the whole thing. And these are some things. I included this program because you need to know uh, C math. They include the the C math. You need to know that and how to be able to take the square root and the square numbers or raise it to whatever power you'd like. Um, this is how power works. X to the Y power would be written like this in C++. You'd write pow parenthesis x for the number, comma, and y for the power you want to raise it to. So say if it was 3, comma, 2, that would be saying 3 squared, so it would give you 9. Uh, this, the last one that you would need is the square root. So you're going to take sqrt, parenthesis, the number or variable inside, and then just close it and end it like that. And uh, obviously that would give you 4. Alright, so going back to dev, this is where, you know, go pause it, try it yourself. You'll learn a lot better if you, you know, don't watch how to do it, but try and figure it out on your own. Mm, I definitely recommend that. Um, so, go ahead and do that. If you absolutely get stuck, uh, watch this. So, we're going to include input output stream like we always have, but we're also going to include the C math. If we didn't include that, basically this is for the square root and uh, the power, right? If we didn't include that, we get all kinds of errors because if we're trying to use the square root and power, and we don't include C math, they're not gonna know what the hell you're talking about. So definitely have to include that. All right, we're gonna use a float for the data type. Uh, our variables are going to be x1, x2, y1, y2, and distance as our only assignment statement. Now basically all we're going to do is uh, get the, the x1, x2, y1, and y2 from the user right now. Um, enter the value for x1. And uh, in case you're wondering, oops why uh, I don't really do any intros to the program like if the user were to run it it doesn't really it's it's doesn't really it doesn't come off as common sense what what you're you know trying to solve for um, that's because I'm not really focusing these videos on uh, the user that should be obvious I'm focusing them on the people who uh, want to learn how to program and uh, you know just need practice. These, that's what that's for. It's just these are just for uh, like what they're called. Their exercises. Enter the value for y1. I can't really talk tonight. I'm sucking at typing too. This is great. Um, and then the last one before we do our assignment statement for y2. Okay. Now we're just going to move it down a little bit. I don't like it so close. It's, I don't know. It's annoying. Alright, distance. Okay, so I'm not going to really... I'm just going to tell you how to do it because, you know, I want I want people to figure it out on their own. And uh, watching it, it should be obvious how to do it after you see it. So shouldn't have to explain it. Um, we're taking the square root of the whole thing. Power. We're going to do x1 minus x2, right? and then comma 2 because we're raising that whole thing uh, we're making it squared plus power again y1 minus y2 comma 2 because we're also raising that uh, squared and then the the last one is just to close off the square root so it's the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus 
y1 minus y2 squared. It's all under the square root. And basically now we're just going to output our findings. Um, oh, why does it do that? Okay. The distance between the two points is... Now i got to move it over, otherwise you won't be able to see it. Distance. And then some line returns, move it back. And that is pretty much how you do it. Um, the system pause, obviously, because I'm using dev, and so you need something that will, you know, do something similar to pausing it. Otherwise, I'll just close the ND the ending curly bracket. Uh, we're going to run it and see how many errors I made. Okay, cool, none. Alright, enter the value for x1. And y you really have to, you can't just enter random numbers. The the first, the x1 and y1, they always have to be bigger than x2 and y2. The reason is, if they're not, and you get a negative number, and the, the say the x1, x2 is negative, and the y1, y2 is negative, It'll give you some crap because you can't take the square root of a negative number unless it's imaginary and this isn't for imaginary shit, so. Um, okay, so we'll do like uh, five, uh, 5 minus, let's say 1, so that's 16, so that's 4, and then um, uh, 8 minus 2 is 6, that's 36, so that's 6 again. Okay, the distance between the two points is 7.2111. And that is all. You press enter, it closes, and Happy New Year.